Hello and welcome to my video 3.6 Order of Operations of Rational Numbers. This is based off of topic 3.6 from the Math Makes Sense 9 textbook. So order of operations, we've already talked about it a little bit. Um, we talked about it in topic 2.3, so if you are uh, curious for, to look at that one, I go into a lot of detail in that video as well. But we're looking at it um, with rational numbers. And so the same rules apply uh, in terms of adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing um, when we're talking about like fractions or decimals. So even though we're talking about order of operations, um, we need to know all of our previous topics. So that's 3.1 all the way till, or I guess 3.2 all the way till 3.5. We need to know those in order to do this topic. So watch those videos if any part of this is confusing. So when we're talking about order of operations, um, what we often remember is the word or uh, caustic bed mass. So we have, hopefully you can see that right here, bed mass, and it shows brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. And this is the order that you have to work in. So if we're looking at this question here, our first step is to look at brackets. What are the brackets telling us? Well, these brackets tell you nothing. Okay, it's just around the number. These brackets tell you basically nothing They're around the number. These ones, these ones tell you nothing. But what you notice is that we have square brackets. And square brackets are just there uh, sometimes to show, to distinguish between two sets of brackets. So you can have brackets inside of brackets. So that's what the square brackets uh, sometimes do. But you could just use regular brackets instead. But in this case, you might notice that these square brackets force you to do something first. So you have to do everything inside the brackets first. So in this case, you're actually going to do the addition first because it's inside and then we're going to do the rest. So let's try that. Let's try to do the addition first. So from topic 3.2, um, the addition of these fractions, we have to get common denominators first. So 3 times 4, 5 times 4, plus <coughs> 5 times 4, and 1 times 5. Okay, so that's one step. Uh, now if we multiply it out, we have 12 over 20 plus 5 over 20. And adding those together, we have 12 plus 5 is 17 over 20. So now I'm going to add back the previous parts that we uh, haven't done yet. So we just did everything inside the brackets, so let's write down the rest of the equation, or the question. Okay, so now we can see that we have multiplication here and division. And according to our bed mass, we do division first, but it doesn't actually matter. These two can switch order, doesn't make a difference, and these two can switch order, and it doesn't make a difference. So we can do either one of these first, um, but I'm going to show you a little trick with division that I didn't show you in the last video. So take a look at this. If we divide by two-thirds, it's the same thing as if we multiplied by three over two. So if we flip the fraction, if we divide by a number, we can flip the fraction and multiply it by it. So this is just a cool trick here. So I'll write all this out again. Multiply by 17 over 20. Okay. So now that we do did that, um, we might be able to do this a little bit easier. So if you remember from uh, from topic 3.4, multiplying fractions, 
um, we can actually just multiply all the denominators and all the numerators. So all the bottom numbers and all the top numbers. So 2 times 20 times 2, negative 1 times 3 times 17. Okay, so 2 times 20 is 40, 2 times 40 is 80 for the bottom denominator. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3 times 17. And I'll have to do this step by step. So negative 30 and negative 21. So we add those together. Negative 51. So we have negative 51 over 80. So that is our final answer. So I hope you can see by the way I did this that basically it's the same as the previous four topics except for now this bed mass which you will have to if you are curious for more information about bed mass you can also take a look at topic 2.3. Good luck!